Action! Good morning. Welcome to Moments with Nettie. Well, you know, I'm acting cheerful, but I'm not. I mean, it's Groundhog's Day, and... I don't even know what the groundhog was up to today, but I feel like we've got a lot of cloudiness, and oh, I think it's just my post-holiday depression. It's coming out again. Yeah, well, it's not about the letdown from all the holidays and being with my wonderful family, and no, it's not about the 49ers losing the championship. <laughs> I mean, that makes me sad, but... You know, that's not it either. But go, Jimmy G. I still love you. I'll love you forever. <laughs> well, what it is, is I find myself in this annual quandary that happens in January and February. And it's really about what I do with the fruitcake that people keep giving me for Christmas. <laughs> ah! I really don't care for fruitcake at all, but I'm, I like to be kind and I... I like to hold on to it for a while, and sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. And I thought, well, you know, there's this new thing called upcycling. You kind of like not regift, because I think well, I had some statistics that said that some people think you should just hang on to it, you know, just see if another one shows up on your doorstep the next year. Because if you hang on to it, you're going to find out if there really is the same old fruitcake going back and forth. And Johnny Carson says that fruitcake's the worst gift in the entire world. And in fact, there's only one fruitcake in the entire world and people keep sending it to one another. <laughs> I think that's what's going on. And I've tried holding on to it, but you know, new ones show up. They kind of look alike. This is how they show up right here. Look at this picture. This is how they show up. All gift wrapped and pretty, but I'm going to tell you the telltale sign. You see that plastic wrap and you see that aluminum foil? Run for the hills! It's a fruitcake at your door! Ha! Well, then, when you unwrap it, this is what they look like. That's not much better. Keep them wrapped up if you ask me. This year, the fruitcake was given to me by my friend Gladys at the church. Gladys is known for, like, regifting. And, you know, uh, this looked a little too pretty for my sake, but I know she didn't make it. And she handed it to me, and I'm telling you, it was one of the scariest moments of my whole life, thinking that it was a fruitcake and that possibly Gladys baked it. Whoa! You don't want to eat anything that Gladys makes you. So, when someone hands you this, and you unwrap it, and it looks like this, what are you going to do? Well, I say wrap it back up. Wrap it back up. Because there's plenty of things we can do. And I, I'm telling you, George Washington had the right idea. Because there was this one gentleman who wrote about that one time that said that he was probably an ancestor of George Washington. And that, that there was a fruitcake kind of being sputtered around his family, back and forth, back and forth. It said that when George Washington received it, he just returned it. So he must have gotten it from family. <laughs> he returned it saying he thought it was unseemly for a president to receive gifts weighing more than 80 pounds. <laughs> it's true. It weighs a lot. So, you know what? Nettie just decided to come up with some ways that would... Um, be a perfectly good use of a fruitcake you don't want to eat and you don't want to send on and you know you don't want to be like Gladys. Gladys is nice. I love her but you know Gladys knows how to get rid of a fruitcake that's for sure. <laughs> okay well here we go. First of all I, I asked Fred what he thought and he goes well they're so heavy I don't know what you do with them. I go oh Bing, 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 a light bulb went out, and I said, Fred, put this in your right hand. The doctor told you to start lifting weights, bench pressing to be exact, but, you know, I just gave him this, and look what he's doing. And a one, and a two, and a three. Good job, Fred. Well, then I did the 
I think this is typical that people will just, since it's wrapped so pretty and you need a doorstop, well, during Christmas season, just put that down by the door and hold it as a doorstop. Nobody's going to know it's a fruitcake. <laughs> well, they'll think it's a joke. Well, then, Fred needed to get something out of the pantry, and I thought, well, what the heck? And so I gave him the fruitcake, and there it is. And then another one that's just typical, it makes a beautiful, beautiful bookend. And, you know, if you keep getting them, you'll have more bookends than books, but it works. At least for this Christmas season, it worked for Nettie. Well, then Fred and I have that trailer. And, you know, he has to put those little shindigs, like shims, or they're, they're called something, something that I don't know what they are. But anyway. You have to put them in front of the wheels so that the trailer stabilizes and just stays there. And so, you know, we were, we broke one of them. So I just lent him my fruitcake. <laughs> it worked for a couple of weeks. We've been going through all of our tax papers and all that, you know, stuff you have to do this time of year. And we made it into a paperweight. And boy, it works well. It's heavy enough to hold down the worst amount of receipts and paper. Then I got to thinking, you know, I don't like to tie my dog out. And so I thought I'd experiment to see if it could be a good dog tether. Well, you know, it's scared little Lulu a little bit. But you know, just look at that face. Isn't that a cute little face? It worked. She wouldn't move. Well, this is the trickiest one of all. Because, you know, I hate going to Weight Watchers or, you know, the weight release class. You know, I hate going to... Weight Watchers and all those things, because, you know, that first time when you have to get on the scales, well, I'll be honest, I always do a little trick. I always put my heavy coat on, my boots, and put everything on that makes me heavier so that the first week it looks like I'm going to lose a lot of weight. Well, <laughs> I looked at that fruitcake and I thought, I'm going to be a good Weight Watchers person and not eat it. <laughs> Don't tell them that I wouldn't have eaten it anyway, but I decided for my weigh-in that I would be, I would weigh in with, with my, with my fruitcake. <laughs> I asked them to step aside a little bit so they couldn't see so much. And well, this is what I did. It really worked because it wasn't quite 80 pounds like, like uh, George Washington thought. Mine was a little bit lighter. So somebody must have used the like, I don't know, light sugar or something. But then you look at this, look at what happened. I take off my boots, I throw out the fruitcake, and I'm down to, oh, well, that's a high number, but, you know, 20 poor pounds, I'll be happy. So, you know what? <laughs> you probably shouldn't cheat, but just in case you need a little encouragement, just stand on your scales with your fruitcake and set it down, and you'll feel like, oh, instant gratification. I just lost 60-some pounds. <laughs> Oh, well then, there's the, there's always, it's, it's always important to save water, especially during drought seasons. And, and, you know, that old trick of putting a brick in there, it's there. And they've got other things you can do. But I thought, well, just, just dump that thing in the tank. <laughs> Put it in there. And you know what? We've been saving lots of water on every flush. And now we're going to get serious here because... Self-defense. You know, we don't do guns in this house because, you know, we, we value our own lives. And so I just got to thinking, what if instead of packing a pistol in my side table at night, I just pack a fruitcake? I just pack a fruitcake. See that? Somebody come to my room, I just have to toss that baby. Or if Fred's there, he'll do it. He's been lifting it. It'll be like nothing for him. So watch out. Don't come to my house. You'll be in trouble. Well, this one wasn't so nice. And I'm really sorry to say that it does not make a very good bird feeder. I thought, lay it out. Open it up. Let those little birdies come in. Just let them come in and take a little nibble here and there. And I forgot about the 20 gallons of rum or brandy that goes into it. And who knows what else. But, you know, don't don't use it as a bird feeder, okay? But the truth is, by the time I got done doing all that, it was not even fit for regifting. And 
Since we live here on the lake, I thought, well, one thing we can do, as long as it lasts, let's just use it for an anchor for the boat. <laughs> it's great. I threw it out there and, you know, our neighbor is a scuba diver and he went down and got this picture and, you know, it's working and I, I can't just throw it in the lake because that would be littering. So I, I, I imagine at some point I'll have to figure out what to do with it. But for right now, anchor's away. <laughs> well, you know, I always say do what you can, not what you can't. And, uh, you know, sometimes gifts just don't suit us. And so you got to figure out what you're going to do. And if you can re-gift it to somebody who's who really love it, that's what you do. In my case, Gladys has given the same fruitcake away over and over again. I don't know who's giving them to her, but she gives it away to somebody every year. And I was the lucky winner. <laughs> so I'm just going to pass this video on to all, all my sisters in St. Pius United Daughters of the Saints at St. Pius United Methodist Church, because I'm sure they might have one laying in a closet here or there from good old Gladys. And, you know, I, I probably won't share it with Gladys, or maybe I should. You know, maybe I should just pretend like I don't know it's her, and we'll just show that video. And that might end our problems. Oh, sometimes I'm a genius. Well, whatever. Oh, well. Happy Groundhog's Day. I I hope that you have plenty of nice weather. And if you don't, enjoy whatever you get. And, you know, happy Fruitcake Upcycling Day. That's going to be the annual day for me to upcycle if I keep getting them. And, okay, now that you're my fans, you know don't mail them to me. You know, it costs too much money for for a toilet bowl tank filler thing. Okay. All right. Be first responders and love. Always be the light and always remember, Nettie loves you. Bye-bye. Don't forget to show me a little love by subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and sharing with your friends on YouTube and Facebook.